Hey, Joe, long time no see. What are all these boxes doing here? Oh, hello, Mr. Patman. It's actually your latest DVD, and I'm sharing them with my network. I'm so excited. I'm shipping these out to Africa. I got some for Asia. I got Australia over here. Look at all these for going to America. Unbelievable, Joe. I'm so happy to find out that you're distributing our training material all over the world. I need more people like you out there in our network. And if you keep up this good work, I'm very sure that next year V Studios are going to create so much more. Hello? Mods? Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm just around the corner. 15 minutes, I'll be there. Same place. See you there. Bye. Where did I put it? Where is it? Ah, here it is. Well, guys, I've got some great news and some bad news. I just met an IR called Joe and I just found out that the past one year we have distributed over 5 million of my DVDs all over the world. The bad news is V Studios is shutting down tomorrow. Remember, guys, duplicate good deeds, not DVDs. Buy original. Guys, this is your chief, Patman Sinatiraja, recording a very special video, which is quite emotional to me, because this is a retro video. So we're going back to the early years. All right, the first video I ever made was the eight basic building blocks, which was a two-hour video, which all of you guys use until today. That's what I call a classic. But we also did a module called Paradigm Shifts, that the change of mindset required once you get into our business, network marketing, QNet, the V. All right, and today I'm going to be talking about three paradigm shifts on this video. All right, and I need you to focus on this because what happens when you start your journey in networking, you need to change your mindset. You cannot apply the mindsets that you had before you get into network marketing because this industry requires, firstly, different strategies. Now, think about this. Traditional business, sports, everything in life, they are strategies. Now, you can't apply strategies that a football coach uses for swimming competition. Neither can a swimming coach apply the swimming strategies onto a football team in a football match. So I realized over the years that when people sign up, they join QNET with certain fixed paradigms. And if they don't shift that paradigms or change that mindset, they struggle very difficult in the beginning of their journey. And therefore, they don't see the results they want. They switch off. They drop out of the business. So these three paradigms are the most basic paradigm shifts that you need to apply to yourself as you start your journey towards financial freedom, towards achieving your dreams. Okay? Now, the first paradigm, the concept of business. For the longest time growing up, whichever country you are, including myself, the concept of business means investing a lot of money, all right, opening a traditional shop, all right, buying a license, a franchise, and it's capital intensive. That means you need a lot of money to pour into a business to get it started. And that's why a lot of people do not even try to get into business or to become an entrepreneur. Because firstly, they can't afford it. They don't have the financial resources or the skill set required to start a traditional business. Now, the first paradigm you have to shift is that network marketing is a business, but it's not a traditional business. 
you don't need a lot of money to get started today in today's world you need hundred thousand two hundred thousand a million US dollars to start a respectable business anywhere in the world you need a location you need to invest in manpower you need to buy a franchise or a concept and you have to be there 24 hours a day because you can't trust anyone else to manage your business manage your systems and control your money now network marketing today is a respected business it is recognized as a business however it doesn't have the challenges the limitations and the financial requirement of traditional businesses so the first paradigm that I want you to change is that network marketing is a business but you don't apply the strategies or the requirements of a traditional business network marketing applies a different strategy the first strategy of network marketing it doesn't require a lot of money you can get into QNet anywhere from six hundred dollars to six thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars in today's economic of scale that is peanuts that's not even real money anymore now 50 years ago you tell somebody you need five thousand US dollars to get into network marketing they might get a heart attack but today five thousand US dollars is a very very reasonable acceptable amount of money that almost everyone has or has access to easily therefore the concept of network marketing as a business is not capital intensive that you don't need a lot of money now what does this mean this means that you can access almost anyone and introduce them to the concept of network marketing that the affordability of becoming an entrepreneur to start your own business local or take it global with QNET is now accessible to a large percentage of the population now even if a guy says he does not have the money all right and most people today sad to say do not manage their funds well may not have five thousand US dollars sitting down on their living room table but they have access to it everyone can find money if they believe in what they're doing all right now the strategies of traditional business do not apply in network marketing traditional business requires a certain skill set if you were to open a restaurant you need to know how to run a restaurant you need to know the quality of food how to manage inventory how to do everything from your POS system point of sale system all right managing the system in the kitchen making sure food is on time so not every Tom Dick and Sally can tomorrow decide I want to open a restaurant you need a certain skill set if you start an import export business you need to understand finance customs laws duties excise tax management but network marketing the beauty of the concept of network marketing it doesn't require any special skill set now I know it's hard to believe but when are you saying I can be a businessman and a businesswoman in network marketing without having a skill set the answer is yes 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 now when I signed up 18 years ago I had no skill set I didn't know what network marketing was about all right I didn't know what a compensation plan was I didn't know left and right I didn't know tracking center but I learned it fast because the language and the strategy of network marketing is simple to understand and it's duplicable and anyone can teach it even though you're not qualified accountant or mathematician all right or an expert in the field to be honest people who claim to be experts in network marketing may sign up with us and not succeed and somebody with no background in business never ran a business before in their life never understood a compensation plan never heard about the industry of network marketing can sign up and make money and be successful and in QNET today we have enough living proof of people who have done this nobodies who became somebodies and they learn as they go along and you mature as your organization grows build bigger and the more money you make the bigger expert you become in network marketing but always remember this it is not a traditional business but it's still a form called entrepreneurship where you actually own your business in network marketing 
Now all the headaches of traditional business, inventory management, shipping, financial management, corporate structuring, tax, logistics, manpower, systems, organization charts, all right, product development, research and development, packaging, marketing, IT, digital uh, marketing, okay, all of that is not your headache in network marketing. That's the beauty of it. You actually become a business owner with the same potential of income as a traditional business owner without the headaches of traditional business. So network marketing has solved the perennial problem of why people don't become business owners because they just don't know how to manage a business. But here QNet does everything for you. QNet manages everything. Every aspect of the business is looked after by professionals, highly qualified, highly motivated, highly systematic, who are hired and managed by a very qualified corporate team in QNet. You own the business. You will make more money than any employee in QNet. All right? But you don't have the headaches of a traditional business. So the first paradigm shift you have to understand that you have to shift, respect network marketing as a business, treat it as serious as you would a business, commit yourself exactly how you would commit if you open a restaurant or you open a traditional company without the headaches. Now I know it sounds too good to be true, but that's why network marketing as an industry is growing today, crossing over 200 billion US dollars a year in turnover and QNet being the fastest growing all right ever network marketing company originating from Asia so we have taken the success formula of the industry of network marketing added the amazing culture systems heart and soul of originating from Asia with founders like Dato Sri Vijay and Japaras Bismarck and we have merged both of this and made it possible for all of you, whoever is watching this video right now, to have that possibility, that chance of becoming a business owner, an entrepreneur with limitless, unlimited income potential. So remember this, traditional restrictions, traditional challenges of owning a business does not exist in network marketing. However, the work ethic is still the same. If you want a restaurant to be successful, you have to commit time. You cannot afford to switch off. You cannot close your restaurant on Monday, open on Tuesday, close on Wednesday, open on Thursday, and then take one week off because your cat is sick. All right? You have to commit. You've got to open your restaurant seven days a week. All right? You can't close the door because you're tired as customers are walking in. You can't switch off. You can't allow challenges to stop you. The same principles apply in network marketing. You got to be switched on. Even though you are purchasing products of 5,000, 10,000 US, 2,000 US, 600 US, doesn't matter, still take it seriously. So you need to take network marketing as serious as you would a traditional business. This is the most important paradigm of taking the first step. So as much as I tell people I am a networker, all right, as much as you are an IR or an upline, downline leader, but ultimately you are a business owner. You are the CEO of your empire. All right? There may not be a building with your name on it. You may not have 600 employees and 17 trucks delivering products all around. You don't need that. You just have to have the mindset of a CEO and you can build an empire bigger than any traditional business in your country. And I've seen this with these two gorgeous eyes. I have seen nobodies make more money than a restaurant or a traditional business that exists in their market all right, for more than 20 years and these guys do it in two or three years. So what does it say? It says that network marketing is the future, that it's a trend. All right? Every year you hear about new trends are changing from mobile phone technology to transportation all right, to business concepts. Now, network marketing is what I call a timeless trend because there's no other opportunity on the planet that gives access to the common man and common woman 
with the uncommon dream to become a business owner. But you must have that paradigm shift that you are no longer an employee, all right? You're no longer a regular Joe down the street, but you today own your own business with this great potential of income without the headaches of traditional business. Now, this is the first paradigm shift. Now, the second paradigm shift is fundamentally very important. Now, in, from the time we were born until today, we were taught that to be successful, you need to know people. You need to know a lot of people. You need to have contacts. So whichever country you're from, I'm sure you heard rumors, that guy is successful because he knows people. This guy is successful because he has a lot of contacts. Our parents struggle to send us to the right school, all right, put us in the right community so that we build up and develop what we call a list of contacts that could help us down the road and in the future. For example, all right, even opening a traditional business, it is clearly in traditional business that a person with more contacts, all right, more people they know will have a higher chance of success than somebody with zero contacts. So if you were to open a restaurant in Kuala Lumpur tomorrow, and I live in Kuala Lumpur, and I've been here for 40 years of my life, and I know thousands of people, my family knows thousands of people, and I open a restaurant tomorrow and tell every one of my contacts that I own a restaurant. And you are from India, all right, or Africa, or Middle East, all right, somewhere. And you come to Malaysia and open a restaurant with zero contacts, all right, who's going to be more successful? Obviously me. As long as our food quality is the same, I have much more contacts. Now that paradigm exists in our mind. From the time we grew up until today as adults, we recognize the fact that the more people you know, the more contacts you have, the more successful you would be in business, the more successful you would be in life. However, when you look into network marketing, that paradigm will have to change. Because in network marketing, that rule of life doesn't actually apply. And this is very interesting. This is why I believe network marketing is the business of the future. All right? Now, don't make the mistake of coming into our company QNet and assuming all right, that you find a prospect who has a lot of contacts and he would be a great downline. I have seen that fall flat on the face. Just because somebody has a lot of contacts doesn't mean he makes a great networker. The truth of the matter is, coming into networking is for everyone and anyone because it applies on a simple principle called the circle of influence. All right? Now, what is this thing called the circle of influence? Now, through your journey of life, you have built various types of relationships. Every human on the planet has a circle of influence. A circle of influence ranges from five people to 100 people, all right? Or maybe two people to 100 people. And everyone, depending how you grew up, will know more people or know less people, all right? But anywhere in the world, if you had a normal life and not living in the forest alone on a tree with one monkey, all right, you would have a circle of influence. Now, network marketing is so possible, all right, is so accessible, all right, because it applies the principle of circle of influence. You don't need to have 1,000 contacts to be successful in network marketing. You need your circle of influence. Now, your circle of influence on average, anyone around the world, in my opinion, all right, strong circle of influence with four or five people. Now, what does that mean? This means that these people trust you. Regardless of what you say, it's not about what you present to them. It's not about what you say or, or how you present it. They trust you. They know you. All right? They have gone through a journey of life with you where they have seen the best and worst and they have embraced and accepted you for who you are. Now, everyone on the planet has four or five people who will never say no to you. This is proven over and over again. Now, think about this. What are you doing in network marketing? Are you going to the streets immediately from day one and talking to strangers? No. 
you talk to your circle of influence. Why? Because you are now a business owner. All right? You have a great opportunity called QNET. You believe in it. You signed up. Now, you're not a moron, I hope. All right? Be a moron with the dream. Just don't be a plain moron. You're not a moron. So you saw something. You saw potential. You love the business. You love the vision of Dato Sri Vijay and Japaras Bismarck. All right? And you fell in love with QNET and the concept. Now, who are you going to share this with? All right? You have great news. You have the cure for poverty. All right? You have a cure for being mediocre. You have a cure for going to work, coming back home and dying broke. You have the cure in your hands. Now, who are you going to share it with? You are immediately going to share it with your circle of influence. These are people you love, you care about, and people who trust you. So if you look behind me, everyone has a circle of influence. Your circle of influence is only four people. That's it. Four people. All right? Now, what you fail to understand is these four people also have their circle of influence. I hope you see where I'm going with this. All right? So before you go and talk to strangers and do everything else, don't lose out on your circle of influence. All right? So now I have four people in my circle of influence who will sign up because I showed them the business opportunity, not because the business opportunity. Most people in your circle of influence will say yes before even understanding the compensation plan, before even understanding the products or the company. They will say, Patman, if you are in, I am in. That's how I got Sati. That's how I got Kuna. That's how this whole thing started. That's how Dato Sri got me. You understand? So if you look at the whole concept of what we have today, the 12 million over people in our organization, what does it represent? It represents people signing up people in their circle of influence. It's a continuous connection. It's a web of relationships. It's a web of trust, belief, and people sign up. So now if you have four people in your circle of influence, they all sign up. Now, how many people do they have? They have four each. Now, if you do the maths and look at the diagram, all right, you've got four people in your circle of influence. These four people bring four other people in their circle of influence. That becomes 16. All right? Now, these 16 people bring four people from their circle of influence. That becomes 64. All right? These 64 people become four people in their circle of influence. That's 256. All right? And 256 people just bring four people from their circle of influence who sign up on trust, all right? believing that the person presenting the business to them is going to guide them along the way. That grows to 1,024 people. Now, can you conclude signing up four people in your circle of influence in one month? Definitely. You must be an absolute moron living in a tree if you can't do that. Can they duplicate that timeline of one month to another month to another month? So the possibility is in four months, your organization could grow to 1,024 people. And what did everyone do? They spoke to people in their circle of influence. Now, this is the power of network marketing. Now, if we were in traditional sales, you would walk up to a stranger in a bus stop trying to sell a product. Now, not everyone is good at that. Not everyone has that ability, all right? Not everyone has that social ability at the beginning of their journey to walk up to a complete stranger and be the greatest salesman or saleswoman, all right? But everyone has that ability to talk to their circle of influence. It's a comfortable approach. There's trust. There's years of relationship and belief. Now, if you understand the philosophy of network marketing, why I always say that anyone and everyone can become tremendously successful in network marketing. Because the fundamental aspect, the foundation of network marketing is the ability for you to talk to people in your circle of influence. Now, yes, there are people with bigger circle of influence, smaller circle of influence. So how did Dato Sri Vijay all right, develop a network so big with so many powerful leaders. Now think about it. I don't know half the leaders around the world before QNET. They are not part of my circle of influence. 
Alright? I didn't know most of them personally. I didn't know Arun. I didn't know Atli. I didn't know David Sharma. Alright? I don't know Sachin, Tobeng, Fofana, Dorian, Said Amir. Alright? Hamid, Erkan. Okay? I didn't know Suraj. Okay? I didn't know Manoj, Dave Joel. These people were somebody else's circle of influence. But because of the growth of the organization, leaders can be anywhere. So it's not only you identifying somebody and making them into the biggest leader. That's not always possible. All right? But somebody's circle of influence will bring you a powerful, unbelievable leader. And if you have a powerful, unbelievable leader in your left, and you're right, earning 10, 20,000 US a week, you are financially free. But if somebody interviews you after five years and says, did you find this person? No, but he belonged to somebody's circle of influence. Now, that's the power of network marketing. Network marketing works on the basis of relationships that already exist. Now, this is the foundation. As you move along, you will be talking to people in your warm zone, in your cold zone, you will gain enough confidence to walk up to a complete stranger, especially after you start making money, after you start seeing results, your confidence level goes up. When I first started, I wasn't willing to walk up to a stranger. I worked with my circle of influence. Today, I can talk to anyone, anywhere, and show them how beautiful QNET is. But beginners, like you watching this video, work on your circle of influence your hot zone as we call it and that circle of influence will lead you to powerful leaders in your organization and any one of you applying the just the concept of circle of influence hot zone you can get thousand people in your organization in four months or even sooner right that's the logic that's the beauty that's the first paradigm shift you don't need to have strong contacts you don't need to hunt for people with mega sales uh, skill set or hunt for people with a lot of contacts. Just work with your circle of influence. Why is this important, guys? Because when you present to somebody and you tell them, you got to talk to 2,000 people, all right, to become successful, they're going to panic. They're not going to sign up. They're going to walk away. Because it's not in human nature to walk up and talk to 2,000 strangers. Nobody wants to go to the bus stop and talk to a stranger. Nobody wants to run around the street with a brochure saying, please join me, please join me, please join me. But if you tell people, join us, start with your circle of influence, I'll help you talk to your circle of influence. Then we talk to their circle of influence and they talk to their circle of influence. And before you know it, you become one of the most powerful networkers. And one day when you're financially free, sitting down somewhere and I meet you for coffee, we will talk about this video. And it's true. All our top leaders today who are maxing out, earning thousands of US a week, if you ask them, they all started with their circle of influence, their hot zone, based on a simple philosophy of trust. And that just exponentially grew. And the top leader in your organization may be 100 levels down. 200 levels down on this side. Doesn't matter. You will know them later on. They will grow. They follow the system. They attend events. They come to VCon. They come to ISB. We will help find and develop them. But the minimum requirement is for you to work with your circle of influence. So the power of circle of influence is one of the biggest foundations that makes network marketing such an accessible business for anyone and everyone, all right? So that logic of circle of influence is what makes QNET a business that can work in any country, can work for a homemaker or housewife, for a professional, all right? For somebody who has only a few friends, they tell you, listen, I can't join this business because I don't know many people. It's okay. Do you have a circle of influence that trusts you? Let's work with them first and they will grow and expand. And before you know it, these people become your biggest leaders. So if you ask some of our top leaders in QNET and the V today, all right, they will tell you that they started just with their circle of influence. And they themselves are shocked today, the amount of people they will have. Now, as your organization grows, 
you will still keep doing presentation. You will still keep talking to people in your name list. But your confidence grows. And when your checks and commissions grow, you become a network marketing machine. But you started with your circle of influence. That's all you need to start your journey of entrepreneurship with QNet. So don't panic. If you don't know many people and your list is very short right now, don't panic. All of us started with four or five people who are close to us, most of them family, best friends, and it grew. We have 12 million people today because Dato Sri and Japa started with their circle of influence. Now, the third paradigm shift is a complicated paradigm shift because it goes against human nature. As you know, every person has three individuals that are most important to them. That is, three individuals, me, myself, and I. This is called the theory of selfishness. All right? That human beings are naturally selfish. Now, don't get upset. I'm not calling you a selfish, useless moron. All of us are. All right? Think about it. Okay? You can put two little kids in a room full of toys, one million toys, and eventually they end up fighting for one toy. All right? Human nature. Okay? When you did your exams, another example. All right, you did your exams well. Would you write your friend's name on the paper or write your own name on the paper? Your own name, you're right. Doesn't make you a bad person, it's human nature. If you are working in a corporation and you complete a project successfully, are you going to stand up and say, I didn't do anything, everything was done by him? That is not in human nature. Human nature is to self preserve, to self protect oneself. Now, this paradigm shift, this mindset is bad in network marketing. Very, very bad. And this is one of the most important paradigm shifts that you need to shift in order to build a powerful, huge organization. That is, when you become a networker, an entrepreneur in this industry of business, all right, selfishness doesn't work. The first most important point in network marketing. I know it's going to shock you, but listen very carefully. This should be your mantra. Forget about yourself. Ignore yourself. All right? Shift all your energy, all your passion, all your focus to your downlines. Because think of the logic of the QNET compensation model. The QNET compensation model, all right, rewards you based on the growth of your organization, not on your personal growth. It's your organization that helps you grow. It is not like a sales uh, job where the more you sell, the more money you make. All right? In network marketing, it's not about individualism. It's about your team. It's about your organization. So you require this massive third paradigm shift where you have to shift your paradigm and forget about yourself. Now, this is the hardest paradigm to achieve because it requires you to go against human nature. And all the trainings we do at VCon, ISB, is to challenge this paradigm. It's actually a form of quelling your ego because your ego says, me, myself, I. I need you to change your language and say, my downlines, my leaders, my team. That's more important. And once you have achieved this paradigm shift, I guarantee you tremendous success in this industry called network marketing. Now, what does it mean? We have built a compensation model where if you help people in your downlines achieve checks, let's say you've got five leaders, three on your left, two on your right, all earning 2,000 US each, you automatically make 10 over $1,000. It's so simple. If you help that guy make money and this guy make money, you make money. All right? Automatically. So your effort towards helping others make money automatically contributes to your financial goals, your dreams. It happens automatically. Today, I spend 24 hours a day focusing on building our leaders. All right? I travel the world. I go up on stage and we can make my Wednesday message it's all to help you make money. 
Because the more checks all of you make, the bigger our checks become. It's simple logic, but it's always ignored in network marketing. Because very fast, you can relapse into your arrogant, egoistic, self-centered human nature. So the biggest paradigm shift to achieve is no longer focus on yourself, focus on your people. Now you can apply this in a system, all right? Make sure that you focus on the weekly checks of your downlines. Get them focused on their goal. Help them achieve that goal of theirs. And automatically, your goal is achieved. Now, this is one paradigm a lot of people in network marketing do not embrace. So a lot of people brag about your checks, your own checks. Oh, chief, I made 10,000 US. Chief, I made 8,000 US. I don't care. And I'm saying it with love as your upline and your chief. I, my question is, how many of your downlines made 2,000 US? How many of your downlines are making 500 US? How many of your downlines are making 250 US? That's more important to me. And that should be the most important thing to you. Because when you got a large number of people in your organization making weekly checks, you will make a huge check. That's the beauty of network marketing. Help others and you help yourself. Focus on others and your goals are achieved. Now, traditional business people and the world itself will never understand this. That's why network marketing is a misunderstood industry. But I'm telling you as I see it, 18 years of experience, I never focus on Putman. I focus on Putman's downlines, all of you around the world. And the more I focus on you, the more I help you or caddy you, all right, the faster I achieve my goals, but it's a win-win situation. You don't want to be the only rich guy in your organization. You don't want to be the biggest check and brag on stage. It doesn't mean anything. Because eventually, if your people don't make money, they drop out. If your people don't see weekly checks enough to keep them excited, keep them focused on the business, keep them coming back to your system, because money talk and bull sugar walks. All right? Okay? As simple as that. So shift your focus. Now, you want your downlines to become full-time networkers. Now, to become a full-time networker is a tough decision. All right? Because you have a job which is paying your bills. And let's say your job pays you 2,000 US dollars. All right? You're not going to quit that job until your networking income reaches 4,000, 5,000. Because that's stable, regular income. Go to work, come back home, you get paid. You need your income in networking to grow bigger than your job so you can put aside money for a rainy day. But then you become full-time. Now you need an organization with a lot of full-time people. Focus on caddying and supporting the thousands of downlines that are coming in every day from people's circle of influence. So this third paradigm is fundamentally important. Shift your focus away from yourself and focus on the income of others. Dato Sri Vijay taught me this from day one and I thank him and I thank God for bringing him into my life to teach me a fundamental rule of network marketing. Forget yourself, focus on your downlines. Get them to earn checks, you will be financially free faster than you could ever dream about. Make sure they have weekly goals. Monitor their weekly goals. Now monitoring alone and being a dictator, telling them, hey, Go and shoot presentation. Hey, make sure you hit your check. That's not good enough. All right? This is not a job where you are the manager and they are your employees. They are not your employees. They are entrepreneurs. They are independent. All right? Your role as an upline to achieve everyone's goal is to support them, caddy them, systems, events, presentation, motivation, inspiration, relationship building, trespass, tools, materials, V2+, plus, inviting them to VCon, that support is your nature. All right? And if you support them enough, trust me, they will stay loyal to you forever. Because the greatest problem you will have in network marketing is they will be poached by mosquito companies, they will drop out because they don't feel you care. So if you only talk about your checks, people are going to see you as a selfish, non-caring upline. 
and soon you lose all your people. But if you only talk about their checks and their goals and support them all the way to achieve their goals, all right, they will stay with you forever. And that is what Dato Sri Vijay and Japa has done for 18 years. That's why we're here today as one of the strongest network marketing companies in the industry. Again, this requires a paradigm shift because in the traditional world, me, myself and I, selfishness rules. But in network marketing, selflessness rules. Focus on your people and your checks will come to you on your lap from the skies. All right? Help people earn, you earn automatically. Remember this and support them all the way. Commit to them. Make sure they know you are there for them. Whether to do a home meeting, whether to do eight basic building blocks, whether to organize systems or whatever, support them all the time. Caddy them. Be an upline that cares about the success of your downlines. So the three paradigms. Number one, network marketing is a serious business without the hassles of traditional businesses making us the most attractive form of entrepreneurship in the world. Number two, network marketing doesn't require you to have large number of contacts. You don't have to be a social elite, mega socialite. You just need to work with your circle of influence. And if everyone works in your circle of influence, boom, financial freedom, here we come. And the third paradigm, very important paradigm, don't focus on yourself, focus on your downlines. Focus on their income, focus on their goals, Sup support them all the way and your goals, your checks will happen automatically. So this is a retro video from your gorgeous chief, Patman Senatiraja. So much fun making it. Guys, welcome to the greatest industry on planet Earth and welcome to the greatest company in the industry, QNAP. I love you guys.